Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman, and this video features video of the moon kindly filmed for me by Wolfie6020 in Sydney, Australia, overnight from November 2nd to November 3rd. Thank you Wolfie. As explained in the video, Wolfie used an equatorial mount telescope to follow the moon across the sky. An equatorial mount eliminates field rotation caused by the otherwise changing viewing angle and perspective of the observer. When you have an equatorial mount correctly polar aligned, the angle of the aligned axis is going to match your latitude, no matter where you are on the Earth. I'm presently in Sydney, Australia, which is south 34 degrees latitude in the Southern Hemisphere. And therefore, this angle is also 34 degrees. Now in the Southern Hemisphere, the up direction is facing the South Celestial Pole and the down direction is facing the North Celestial Pole. If I was in the Northern Hemisphere, that would be reversed with the up direction facing the North Celestial Pole. What I have done with all my telescopes is orientate the cameras in such a way that the up direction in the capture is up as it would appear at the North Pole. So with this in mind, it is important to understand that Wolfie's resulting time-lapse video of the Moon, taken on the equatorial mount, is orientated the same as it would be if taken from the North Pole, and we see that Tycho Crater is at about the 6.30 position in the video. But in the other camera view, taken on an alt azimuth mount, the same as our eyeball view, we see that Tycho Crater is on the top half of the Moon. Let's watch the video which I have also narrated in places. So this is the moonrise on Monday the 2nd of November from Sydney, Australia. And I have my B700 camera on a tracking mount filming at the moment too. So here is my telescope fitted to an equatorial mount and currently tracking the moon. I'm going to let it run until the moon crosses the meridian later tonight. And the point of doing this is to prove that there is no field rotation when using an equatorial mount that is correctly polar aligned. This is what the camera fitted to the telescope is seeing. And we're taking one frame every two seconds which I can later compile into a time-lapse video. You'll notice that Wolfie's equatorial mount telescope rotates on one axis of rotation as it tracks the moon across the sky. The moon's orbital path across the sky is like a giant hula hoop around the Earth. For this reason, the telescope only needs to follow one axis of rotation. And this is why we see no apparent rotation, no field rotation of the Moon when using an equatorial mount telescope, because there is no rotation due to the changing perspective of the observer or the telescope. For the final two minutes of this video, we see the resulting time-lapse video of the Moon, and once again we see no apparent rotation, no field rotation of the Moon. And notice Tycho Crater, it stays exactly at its position as we see it here. It does not rotate at all because it is on an equatorial mount. If the telescope was on an alt azimuth mount, which is similar to our head on our shoulders, then we would see rotation, which is called field rotation. This moon time lapse starts at 11.32 UTC, which was 10.32 PM local time in Sydney, and ends at 15.41 UTC, which was 2.41 AM on November 3rd. The moon crossed the meridian, or highest point, at 15.09 UTC, which was 2.09 AM local time. As we can see, there is absolutely no rotation when viewing the Moon with an equatorial mount camera or telescope, as all field rotation is eliminated. 
If the camera was mounted on an alt azimuth mount, which simply moves left, right and up, down, we would see apparent rotation due to our changing viewing angle or perspective and this is called field rotation. We are just coming up to crossing the meridian where the moon is at its highest point and again we see no rotation at all. So once again we see absolutely no rotation when viewing the moon using an equatorial mount which eliminates the effects of perspective. Let's finish by taking a look at an older video of mine explaining and demonstrating field rotation. Hello, in this video we're going to look at the claims made in many YouTube videos that the moon has strangely tilted or rotated on its axis in a way that it should not be. This is explained quite simply when we consider that the moon rises in the east, travels across the sky and sets in the west. In the northern hemisphere the moon will cross over in the southern sky and in the southern hemisphere the moon will cross over in the northern sky. I am in the southern hemisphere. Let's have a look at this video of this Concorde aircraft flying across the sky from east to west as if we are looking north. This is the sort of view that we would have from the southern hemisphere if we were comparing it to the moon. Let's take another look and we'll take some photos this time as the aircraft fly over. Pointing north east. Pointing north. And pointing northwest. Now let's take a look at our photos. We can see now that the angle that the aircraft are pointing in our photographs are quite different in each photo. And in exactly the same way we will see that the moon appears to change its angle as it travels across the sky.